Hello, thank you for joining me for what's new with Recast Right Click Tools 4.2. In this release, you can now right click on several machines at the same time and pull up this tool. And now it will create these little subgroups and you can then uh, drill down and see which machines uh, each apply to. Under general, it shows the client version for Config Manager. And this helps you to determine uh, if you've got machines that are running a down level client. So in my lab here, I've got five machines that I need to go and take some action on. But this is a nice handy overview. Components would be the same thing as when you look under your control panel at the components in the Config Manager applet, and it will give you the different components and versions. Cache, this one here I find quite nice. Uh, it will give you the max cache size here. And then if you drill down, you can actually see uh, some more information about it here. Percent used. In this one here, I'm going to take my Lenovo desktop and just set the client cache size a little bit higher here. So it shows current size was 22 gig-ish, and now I've upped it to 25. It's pretty quick, pretty painless, uh, but now we have a little bit more room in that cache for that machine. And if you wanted to, you could actually go ahead and highlight everything and standardize it across your environment. It's totally up to you. But with the, the right-click tool, you have that power. Cache details, this is going to show you all the different items that are in your cache. As you can see, I have a lot of client upgrades because I've upgraded my lab here uh, quite a few times over the past year uh, because the team at Microsoft is awesome, uh, releasing several updates. But I just re updated to 2002 last night, so I'm going to have some additional client upgrade packages here out in my environment. Uh, but you can see, too, like my laps uh, is out on 10. Uh, my branch cache monitor is on 16 uh, out in the cache. Now, uh, in an earlier demo, I cleaned up some some rather large files. Let's see if I've got anything here. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. Windows 10 1909 pre-prod. Devices 2 version 1 and 3. All right. So... Here in this situation, I can see that uh, I've got some machines here with version 1, some machines with version 2, and some version uh, 3 out there. Uh, I don't need to have several versions of the same item out there. So, you know, like when you're in Config Manager and you bump your content, it creates a new version. The clients aren't smart enough to go ahead and update it. The next time they come and they find that there's a policy update and they need that content, they go out re-download the entire thing, even if you made a minor change and places it into a completely new folder. It leaves the previous version fully intact. So you basically duplicated the amount of stuff in your cache because of that. So here we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click these and choose delete. And now it's going to go ahead and delete. We're just going to let that simmer for a little bit while I continue on. Applications, this here goes ahead and pulls up uh, the, all the applications that are deployed. Not necessarily installed, but deployed uh, th through the Config Manager client to these machines. Now you can see on most of the machines um, that have the deployment advertised to it, it is actually installed, uh, except for 7-zip. This here is a, a available deployment, and it's, so it's not installed on too many different machines out there. So I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, I think PC4 would be a great candidate to have that installed. Let's go ahead and trigger that install. And now PC4, next time I come around, should have that installed. My laps. Uh, solution here you can see on 17 of the devices it is installed on 17017 which is great uh, if it wasn't I would definitely be installing that uh, Chrome here on the other hand uh, who wants Chrome anymore now that we have the awesome uh, Edge browser from Microsoft the Chromium version uh, or Credge or Edgeum uh, but here it is, it's still installed on my Latitude and I don't want it there. 
going to go ahead and click on install on that and it is triggered so within a few minutes that should be gone from there all right for execution history this will show uh, the different items that have been executed on this machine uh, you can then drill down and see exactly what it is so from here uh, sometimes it's got the friendly name sometimes uh, you're only going to have the package a lot of time um, depending on the priority like if it's a task sequence you typically don't get to see the name and you only get to see the package id so uh, you would have to go in to config manager and then look up this package id to uh, know exactly what this was when it's a star but typically it's a task sequence of some sort and since it's my lab, more than likely it was a task sequence. And then under boundaries, I've only got one boundary group, so this is a kind of a boring little demo here. But um, if you have several boundary groups, you would see all the different boundaries, and you can drill down and see the different computers and, and where they're at. So if you had picked like 10 computers that were spaced all around the, the world, and more than likely they'd be in different boundaries, you could easily pull that information up here. So that's the overview of the client information tool and the update uh, in version 4.2. Thanks for joining me.